Is he married though? Is he having an affair? He is married. And he now uh, is uh, so basically told his wife after it was all video leaked. Mm. So he had to come and confess. And apparently, you, know, you see what I'm up against here? When I'm trying to video. I'm trying to video my trainers. See what I've got going on here? <laughs> Roger, this is not the cameo that I needed from you right now. <laughs> Roger's made this an X-rated video. Yes, X-rated. Yes. Boof. Boof. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yes, I know it's been done a million times before. Fashion vloggers reviewing their Sara trainers whilst their dogs polish their own nuts in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just a walking cliche. Yes, Sara trainers. Okay, so I needed some new trainers. I actually don't own a lot of fo uh, footwear. Not a big area of interest for me personally, but who knows? That could change over time. I never thought I'd get into trousers as much as I do now, but now that's all I talk about. But today I'm just going to do a brief commentary on three pairs of trainers I bought from Zara. I purposely bought trainers that don't have white midsoles because it's just a it's a ball ache keeping these guys clean, especially if you're pigeon toed like me. Your midsoles just get knackered very quickly. Uh, these ones are rubber. There's no branding on the sides of these trainers, which I like. In fact, when I bought these in store, they didn't even come with boxes, which I guess, I mean, this was my initial introduction to Zara. I don't typically shop at Zara, or, or have ever shopped at Zara, I should say. So when I used to buy shoes back in the fucking good old days, a shop assistant would come out with the shoe horn. They'd lay out about five different pairs of shoes at your feet. None of that anymore. Uh, in fact, the store in Regent Street, they were massively understaffed. And it, it had a bit of a flea market feel, I guess. If anyone is old enough to remember Eisenegger back in the day, the clothes shop Eisenegger that had 99% off everything. Yeah, it felt like one of those. I digress. So I bought two pairs in store. Uh, they're, they're made in China. I didn't buy these for the catwalk or any fancy occasion. Just every day walking around, the, walking the dog, etc. And they were about thirty quid each. One pair I bought online. Uh, you pay like four quid for shipping when you buy online for orders under fifty sheets. I think something like that. No biggie. Uh, they turned up a few days late um, when I ordered them online. Again, not train smash. Not that bothered just so that you know. So the white trainers, I do believe, are, are the biggest tell on whether a guy gives a crap about how he looks and whether he takes any pride in his appearance. If you see a dude wearing white trainers covered in crap, which is easily done, then he's not really trying. Whereas a guy wearing white trainers that looks like he's just bought them is something I always notice on another guy. Uh, whether they're Nike, whether they're Zara, I'm not fussed. If they're white and they're spotless, you have gone up in my estimation, sir. So these ones are comfy. The white ones, ironically, are not. <laughs> they wrecked the back of my heels, and uh, this is like after a week or so. These, these my heels were lacerated. Uh, I've worn all of these for a couple of weeks. Do they look cheap? Well, blue ones maybe do. They're they're kind of rubber all over, whereas the beige ones, uh, they're like a suede all over, and the white ones are leather, probably faux versions of both. But again, smart enough for the dog walks. Not going to break the bank, not going to turn any heads, but I can say they're comfy, at least two models are, and true to size. I'm a size 8, these are a size 8, so uh, that might help you out there. Lastly, if you are looking for a trainer that doesn't have a white midsole, these black ones are by a brand called Unseen. They are the best ones that I've worn and got loads of use out of them. If you're turning up to an event and you're unsure on the dress code, you know it's not black tie, but you're not sure if it's smart casual or what's going on. I recommend these. At first glance, they're, they're black, so they could be mistaken like for a, a smart shoe, perhaps. And they are comfy, a lot sturdier than the Zara ones. Uh, and that is noticeable. This is a very confident trainer. Alrighty, I think that's it for now. Better crack on, do some work. Catch you next time.